what's going on you guys it is your boy josh x barber welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if you guys are new to the channel and you're not subscribed please make sure you guys go down and smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell i got a dope tutorial again for you guys today so let's get right to it so as you guys can see my client has some braids in his head we're clipping him up with some alligator clips right now i'm going to be giving him a taper so as you guys can see he has it tapered on the side i'm just going to start by brushing all the hair in just so i can get the hair to lay down so i can get a better look at my canvas and then we're going to go in with my one and a half guard with the lever all the way closed and we're going to go with the grain and just knock down all the excess bulk around the edge and around his um taper fade so it can lay down and it can separate from the braids and you guys, I kept it pretty dark. I didn't cut it too low. So you want to make sure you don't go too low when doing this. So for the taper, we're going to go ahead and start by um, using my Wild High Viz trimmer to set in our bald line. We're going to be keeping the C cup and we're going to make it like a mid taper. So I'm not, I'm not going to fade the bald line up as high. And once I have that set in, I'm going to come in with my Babyliss FX1 clipper going up about a half an inch with no guard on with the lever all the way open, making sure that I cut it even. And then we're going to come in with the lever all the way closed and hit the bottom of the guideline just to soften it and then open it one notch from closed to blend it right out. And right after that, as you guys can see now, I have my red number one guard on. I have the lever all the way closed and we're going up about another half an inch. I'm trying to keep the fade as tight as possible. Um, after this guard, we're going to fade down for the rest. So to take out this guard line that we just created, I'm going to use my half guard with the lever all the way closed, starting up under the guard line and flicking up to it. And as you guys can see, it went away almost instantaneously. So now I have my number two guard um, with the lever all the way closed. And we're just basically just going to go and blend up right into the bulk. Um, I'm not really trying to go up really high. I just want to make sure that I start this transition off good. So when I come in with my next guard, it'll blend well. So now I have my one and a half guard. This is our next step of our fading down process. I'm not going up as high as I did with the number two guard. I'm just finishing off the transition that will blend into the number two guard and then after the one and a half guard i may have to come in with my number one guard again to do some detail work just to bring the blend together all the way you guys so right here is more so um, a product of experience and just technique i'm not really following any certain fading system right now this is my detail work but this is important because as you get better with cutting you're going to have to learn how to um, manually fade you know without following a perfect system because everybody's hair doesn't cooperate perfectly to get that blend to look how you want it to look so now that we're done with the taper fade we're going to add a slight blend to the top of the beard just to give it that burst effect going right into the um taper you know it looks dope when you have a beard and you have a taper because it seems like it just blends into each other seamlessly so whenever i'm doing my beard fade it always reminds me a lot of my fading down technique because I always start off with the biggest guard and I fade up into each smaller guard until I have the blend complete. So I started with the number two, the one and a half, the one, and then I went into the half guard and that created my full transition, fading away from the bulk of the beard into the um, bald skin part of the beard. So we're going to move right into the neck taper. I'm using my wild high vis trimmers again. You want to make sure that you get that um, bald line in there completely bald. You cut off any hair under the guideline and make sure that it's parallel um, going straight across around the neck. Or even if you're adding the arch, just make sure the arch is like a perfect arch and it kind of curves on each side perfectly. So we right back with the Babyliss FX1 clipper. I got no guard on with the lever all the way open and I'm making sure that I follow the shape of my bald line so I can keep the taper fade even throughout the whole process. And you guys can see I had to adjust my clippers to the way his hair was growing because I want to make sure that I get all the hair even across the whole guideline. So sometimes people hair grow funny and you can't cut it in the same direction as you cut the rest of the hair. Right now I have my Babyliss FX1 with the lever all the way closed and I hit the bottom of the guideline just to soften it as you guys can see and then I opened it one notch from closed and blended it right out. 
for the next guideline, we're back with the number one guard with the lever all the way closed, going up about another half an inch. Taking out that guideline, I have my half guard on once again, starting right up under the guideline and flicking right into it. You guys are going to see each guideline just fades out perfectly. Just follow these simple steps and understand hair more. Once you start to understand hair and you understand your steps, then you got the recipe. So I have my one and a half guard here. We have a tight fading down zone, but that's what we're going to do. I have the one and a half to start it off and then I'm going to come back with my one guard with the lever all the way open to finish it. And you guys, you want to make sure depending on your client's hair texture that you go over guidelines multiple times because sometimes there's hairs that are hidden that don't get cut and it can kind of throw off your fade. So I make sure before I go into the next step, I cut as much hair evenly as possible. So like I said, we're fading down right here on the neck taper. I started with my one and a half guard closed. I have my one guard open now, and I'm not gonna go up as high as I did with the one and a half, but I'm gonna fade out this dark line right here that was left after using the one and a half guard and just work my way down with the one guard. Cause I start off with the number one guard all the way open, and then I'm, a, I'm gonna close it gradually to create that fade transition. And right here, I'm just cleaning up right up under the number one guard with my half guard. I'm going to be doing some detail work for the rest of this taper. Now that I'm done with, with every step, I can go in and fine tune any dark areas that I see that I think that needs to be faded better. So right here, I'm using my one guard open, just laying down the hair that's on top of the taper and around the front of the hairline a little bit more. This is slightly lower than the one and a half I used earlier in the video. So you've made it to one of the best parts of the video, which is the lineup. I'm using my Babless FX1 trimmer. And you guys, the lineup just always brings the haircut together. It makes the fade pop. Man, it just shows the cut a lot more character. Um, one of the most satisfying parts of the videos. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Is the lineup process one of your favorite parts of the video? Is it satisfying to you? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to sit back and let you guys watch this lineup process for a little bit and watch it make the haircut pop even more. Even though the front line is crispy, I already know, man, my favorite part is that neckline. It's crispy as well. I just like the look that the neckline always has on my clients, especially when they have tapers. Um, making that arch around the ear is just so satisfying to me. So we done with the hairline and the neckline. We gotta clean up his beard a little bit, man. Get this joint under control and put a nice line on that also. I'm low key hating right now. I wish my beard can grow out as long as his does, man. I'm trying to get my beard to like start to extend from my face and give that more like big effect look. I don't want it too big, but you know, he has the perfect size. I think I would really like it to look like his, but nonetheless, we got them fresh, man. We almost done with this cut. If you guys watched it up until this point, I really appreciate you guys. Um, we're almost done. I'm going to add some more finishing touches to it, and I'm going to show you guys the before and after. So we're not going to be applying any enhancements, but I'm going to be using my barber pencil to add a nice pop to the line. It's gonna look so dope once I blend it in, especially on his skin tone and the way that the cut looks. These wild high-vis trimmers are gonna blend it out perfectly. 
you want to make sure whenever you're using that um, white barber pencil you want to make sure that you have a good trimmer and you come behind it with a razor if if needed to blend it out really good you don't want to leave it too bright white on the client's skin you guys this is how my client walked into the barber shop he said he needed his braids done he needed a haircut he said his girl wasn't looking at him the same but y'all know he came to the right spot man we got him fresh but without further ado this is the cut I appreciate you guys for tapping in with your boy. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this haircut and also leave a thumbs up on this video too if you guys liked it. If you guys are new to the channel and you're not subscribed, please make sure you guys go down and smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new drops. You guys can find me on all socials at Josh X Barber. It's your boy Josh. I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace.